Good afternoon, family and friends. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the commencement services for the 2014 graduating class of Paseo Academy of Fine and Performing Arts. This is the day that we've all been waiting for. Each of these young people holds a dear place in our lives, and the purpose of today's commencement services is to recognize and honor each member of the senior class for his or her hard work and commitment to completing high school. As we are all very proud and want to hear the name of each graduating candidate, I ask you kindly to silence your cell phones, remain seated throughout the services except during the national anthem, and refrain from excessive loud noises so all the names can be heard and proper respect given to every candidate as they walk across the stage. Again, on behalf of Paseo Academy and the graduating class of 2014, I welcome you.
Excuse me, please. Please stand for the national anthem. seated. Good evening. It is my distinct pleasure at this time to introduce our platform guest. As I call your name, would you kindly stand and remain standing until we have recognized all of our guests and we're gonna ask the audience, would you please hold your applause? Our school board members, Mr. Jonathan Heil, Chair, Mr. Curtis Rogers, Vice Chair, Dr. Amy Hartsfell, Mr. Carl Evans, Mr. Eric West, Ms. Patty Manser. Our senior leadership team, Dr. R. Stephen Green, Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Elizabeth Ann Sanders, Assistant Superintendent of Secondary and Elementary Education. Dr. Tanya Gilbert, Executive Director of Student Support and Community Services. Mr. Thomas Brenneman, Executive Director of Technology. Mr. Daryl Davis, Senior Executive Director of School Leadership. Mr. Kenny Rodriguez, Director of Secondary Education, Ms. Anna Blancardi, 
Director of Pylons, and last but definitely not least, Dr. Dennis J. Walker, Principal of Paseo Academy. Ms. Lane. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Faculty, staff, family, friends, graduates. I've had the pleasure of serving as Paseo's college advisor for the last two years. I'm part of an organization called the Missouri College Advising Corps which places a recent University of Missouri graduate in one of 28 high schools across Missouri. We're not only in these high schools to increase the college going rate, but also to equip students with the skills and resources they need to be empowered to pursue a post-secondary education. As a whole, the class of 2014 submitted more than 250 college applications. to 60 different colleges and universities across the university. And they were also accepted to over 39 of those colleges and universities. The University of Missouri, University of Iowa, Kansas State University, Lincoln University, and even Morehouse College are some of the universities that our students could be attending in the fall. I'm proud to say that the class, that 78% of the class of 2014 will be, will be attending a post-secondary education in the fall. Whether it be the 5% attending a trade school, the 38% attending one of the Metropolitan Community College campuses, or the 43% attending a four-year university. We also have, we also have 3% of the class who have chosen to serve their country and join a branch of the United States Armed Forces. I'm also pleased to announce that there are three students who are also graduating with their Associate of Arts degree from Metropolitan Community College, Penn Valley Campus. Please stand to be recognized. Sophie Dines, <laughs> Destiny Washington, and Dominique Young. <laughs> Sophie and Dominique will be attending the University of Missouri, Kansas City, and Destiny will be attending the University of Iowa in the fall. Getting into college was the easy part. The hard part was finding money to pay for it. I'm pretty sure I heard multiple times every day since the first day of their junior year, Miss Lane, can you help me find some scholarships? But that determination and consistency paid off. The class of 2014 has secured over $500,000 in scholarships alone to pay for college. I'd like to give special recognition to the following students, if you could stand. Caitlin O'Reilly, Javon Hughes, Ronnie Brown, and Matthew Locklear. These students, because of their academic performance in high school, all received full tuition scholarships to Donnelly College in Kansas City, Kansas. You may be seated. I also want to recognize Cecily Williams, Quentin Harris, Caitlin O'Reilly, Ronnie Brown, Jacob Butler, Omar Green, Matthew Locklear, Jamila Drone, Jasmine Brewster, Javon Hughes, Edgar Ortiz, Keelan Madge, and Jawan Bennett. 
These students each receive full tuition scholarships to the Metropolitan Community College Penn Valley campus in the fall. You may be seated. So, graduates, I've spent the last two years teaching you all there is to know about planning for college. Unfortunately, I won't be able to follow each of you off to your prospective colleges to be your personal college advisor. So I'm gonna take this chance to go ahead and share some last minute advice to be successful your freshman year of college. Of course, never stop looking for scholarships. Don't forget to renew your FAFSA in 2015 and never be too embarrassed to ask for help or to ask for a tutor. But most importantly, never turn down the opportunity for free food. <laughs> when all else fails, take a nap. And even though some of you don't agree with this, you can never be overdressed or overeducated. Thank you, good luck, and I'm proud of all of you. At this time, I'd like to introduce the senior class president, Ms. Kimberly Chexnader. Hold on. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kimberly Chexnader, and as the class president, it is my honor to recognize my fellow class officers and the top 10 seniors of Paseo Academy. As their names are called, each will stand for recognition. I'd like to introduce the vice president of the class of 2014, Joshelle Taylor. I'd also like to introduce the secretary, Jamila Drome. I'd now like to introduce our top 10 scholars. Number 10, Cecily Williams. Number nine, Jamila Drome. Number eight, Matthew Locklear. Number seven, Quentin Harris. Number six, Jacob Butler, who unfortunately cannot be able to make it this afternoon. Number five, Omar Green. Number four, Ronnie Brown. Number three, Destiny Washington. Number two, our salutatorian, Dominique Young. And number one, our valedictorian, Caitlin O'Reilly. You may all be seated. You may all be seated. I've had the privilege, oh, excuse me, wrong speech, that's awkward. <laughs> all right, this is the right one. Peers, faculty, cabinet members, Board of Education members, friends and family. Welcome to Paseo Academy's Class of 2014 Commencement. I'm Kimberly Chexnader, Senior Class and Student Council President. I came to Paseo Academy my junior year and was nervous to begin at a new high school as an upperclassman without knowing anyone. I had heard many things about Paseo and the Kansas City Public Schools, so I was a bit apprehensive at the beginning. I walked into Paseo on my first day and witnessed all the vibrant personalities, as well as crazy hairdos and quite questionable outfits. Anyone who were to see me on my first day would remember the fear I had on my face. Fast forward two years later, every day I walk into Paseo and am greeted by those infamous personalities, hairdos, and outfits. And while at Paseo, I have found my passion in the arts. In the fall, I will go on to pursue my dream of broadcast journalism at an elite Big Ten University. And talking to many of my classmates, they, like myself, are going on to pursue the arts next year. Being thrown into the rigorous arts education programs at Paseo, I have learned that high school courses are much more than just math, science, and English. No offense to Ms. Pruitt and Mr. Monaco. With the exposure and opportunity Paseo gives its students, it has prepared us for real-world immersion into careers in the arts realm. Had I not come to Paseo, my educational outcome would have been very different. Instead of stri striving to be a storyteller through journalism and documenting real change throughout the world, I could have strived to be a doctor or engineer. 
No offense to any of those with those who are in the audience, but those take a little too much math and science for me. After all, I did come to an art school for a reason. Because of Paseo, I now know that with talent comes passion, and with passion comes the will to succeed. As a class president, it is my honor to recognize a few of my classmates who share their will to succeed, as you saw in the top 10. It is my pleasure to serve as the president of the class of 2014. Thank you and good luck to my 71 lifelong friends. I'd now like to take this opportunity to introduce our salutatorian, Dominique Young. Good afternoon, classmates, family, friends, distinguished guests, esteemed faculty, administrators, and Dr. Dr. Walker. As salutatorian, it is with great honor and pleasure that I welcome you on behalf of the graduating class of 2014. We come together on this exciting day to celebrate the final chapter of our high school lives. This is a moment I'm sure we have all been anticipating since the beginning, and I'm proud to say we have all made it. In August of 2010, we set foot into an unknown place called Paseo of Fine and, fine and Performing Arts. I just knew that when my parents agreed to allow me to come to a performing arts school, that it would be just like the movie Fame. I was going to do, get to do my, fashion, my passion dance in school and for a grade two. I just knew I was gonna enjoy high school without, without a worry in the world. But then I received my first schedule for the first semester. English, physics, real history. After coming back to reality, I realized that just because I was fortunate enough to be able to nurture, and nurture my talent in art, I still had to put in twice the amount of work if I wanted to survive high school. No matter how much we all liked or disliked high school, or how different our journeys may have been, we all experienced it together. From the old last we may have shared while wearing our new Hollister jackets, our new oversized Forever 21 hair bow, during memorable, memorable events like the South Dallas Swag video contest, which we won, to the new victories like the first place when our poets took in a Louder Than a Bomb poetry contest. All of these great times happened so fast, and the years passed by. Before we knew it, here we sit as graduates. When I found out that I would be salutatorian of my class, I was excited to share it with my parents. I remember recently placing second in the talent show. It was the third time this past year that I placed second in a dance competition or our audition. I was down on myself, and I told my mom, this must be the year second best for me. But in a typical mom fashion, she quickly reminded me of my many accomplishments picking my spirits up and reminding me that I am number one. And I have to remember that just because I didn't win this time doesn't mean that I haven't already accomplished so much. So letting her know, hey mom, guess what? I'm class salutatorian, second again. <laughs> However, it is a high honor to own that title because we are all winners, we are all graduates. We've all worked hard to get to this point, and yet this should just be a milestone on our journey, not a pit stop and definitely not the end. I know all of you are going to, go, are going to leave here and go on to do great things with your lives. I'm certain that among us, we have future lawyers, musicians, doctors, singers, actors, scientists, dancers, authors, engineers, act, entrepreneurs. We have future businessmen, women, judges, and maybe even a CEO or a president. But most of all, we have a, class, a great class of motivated, creative, and driven scholars on their way to be awesome at whatever it is that they do. As we reach the end of high school, I have come to realize that we certainly did not make it here alone. The inspiration and motivation that has driven us for the last four years has come from many people who we owe thanks to. Personally, I would like to thank all of my teachers, Dr. Walker, my counselor from the Early College Academy, Ms. Paula, and most importantly, my parents. Thank you, Dad, for making sure I always made the right choices, even if I didn't like it. And thank you, Mom, for always pushing me to, be, to do better. And on behalf of my fellow classmates, I would like to give a big thanks to everyone who has pushed us through our high school lives. 
You pushed us, motivated us, and kept us going. As I close, I would like to leave my classmates with these, with these words of encouragement. Don't ever forget to nurture your talents and creativity along the road. It is something that defines you and keeps you driven in life. It has been research and proven that an education in the arts enhances a student's creativity, confidence, perseverance, focus, dedication, and accountability. So never give up on your dreams. Never abandon what you want in life because someone tells you you're being unrealistic. Let those words be a motivation for you to achieve your dreams. People that the world remembers are those with spunk and the courage to get back up fight and persevere through times of doubt and disbelief. The power to make your dreams a reality lies within yourself. I wish the class of 2014 much success in everything you do. Don't ever give up on what you set your mind to. The future is yours and you control where you're going. So I encourage you and challenge you, my classmates, to go forth and make the best of it. Thank you and best of luck to all of you. It is now my honor to introduce the valedictorian of class of 2014, Ms. Caitlin O'Reilly. Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to start off by saying I'm honored to be the class valedictorian and, and by congratulating my fellow classmates. Give them a round of applause. But I would also like to say we couldn't have done it without all of you, our families, our friends, and our teachers. You are our support system and the reason we are standing on this stage today. We couldn't have done it without all of your help, so give yourselves a round of applause as well. <laughs> High school certainly has its ups and downs, and there have certainly been difficult times for all of us. We won't miss the stress that school gives us, the homework, staying up late to finish assignments, and waking up and rushing to school every morning. We may be excited to leave, but there are things that we will definitely miss about this school as well, our teachers, friends, and our majors. Paseo has left an impact on all of us, and the arts that Paseo teaches us to love and appreciate has made the greatest impact on our lives. Paseo's majors include dance, creative writing, broadcasting, visual arts, both instrumental and vocal music, fashion, theater, and last but definitely not least, technical theater. <laughs> Some of us may choose to pursue careers in our majors, and some of my talented classmates will choose to become dancers, singers, musicians, rappers, actors, or other professions involving the arts. Some of us may go to college, while others may be going straight into the workforce or the military, but I'd like to say that I'm sure my classmates and I are bound to be successful. Graduation is a ceremony, a celebration, a farewell, but also a new beginning. It's a time to look back on lessons we've learned, special moments and adventures that we've had together. Is the time for saying goodbye to friends, teachers, and fond memories, but these memories will stay with us for a lifetime. It is commencement, a time for looking forward, a time to set goals, and a time to achieve our dreams. It is the time to say goodbye to yesterday and greet tomorrow with courage and hope. So congratulations, class of 2014. We are starting a new chapter in life, but as long as we persevere, I know we will make it. Thank you. I would now like to introduce Ms. Mercer, the vocal music teacher. At this time, we would like to invite the choral department seniors to come to the stage to sing with the choir for their last time. The song that we have selected as the dedication to the 2014 graduating class is Amani Utupe Na Ustawi. Amani Utupe Na Ustawi, which means give us peace, give us courage.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, and staff of Paseo Academy of Fine and Performing Arts. I am richly honored with the opportunity to present to you the Pylons Honor Scholars Class of 2014 this afternoon. The KCPS Pylons Honors Program is named after the sky tops or pylons that sit atop Bartle Hall. These four pylons are unique to Kansas City and are a fixture of our great city skyline. Throughout time, explorers and aviators have used pylons as symbols and markers to quantify progress. Therefore, the four KC pylons serve as symbols to quantify the progress and accomplishments of the fine young scholars seated behind me this afternoon. When one considers the meaning behind the four pillars of the pylons, scholarship, service, leadership, and character, the 2014 Pylons Honors Class to be recognized has demonstrated over the years their unyielding commitment to such traits. To be bestowed the title of a Pylons Honors Scholar, one must have maintained throughout their high school career a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or higher, and contributed to the good of the school community through their character, service, leadership, and of course, scholarship. This is both an honor and a privilege. At this time, with all the honors, rights, and privileges, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining, I humbly present to you the Paseo Academy of Fine and Performing Arts High School Pylons Honors Class of 2014. When I call your name, would you please stand to be recognized? Caitlin Gabrielle O'Reilly. <laughs> Destiny Washington. <laughs> Dominique Young. <laughs> I'd like to close with a word of advice. Time goes by so unbelievably fast. I can't believe that I will be attending my 35th high school reunion this summer. It seems like only yesterday I was an honor scholar myself, ready to embark on the world. I give you some advice, though, as you enter your college or career years. There will be many roads for you to take. Be careful, consider all options, maybe even choose to take a risk but choose wisely and use your wisdom to choose your life's path. You only have one life, so live it, but live it to your fullest potential. Always remember to surround yourself with people who will help you be a better person. My deepest and heartfelt congratulations to all of the graduates of Paseo Academy of Fine and Performing Arts. The arts provide an educational foundation that allows students to be creative, expressive, and successful. It is through the arts that our students become creative, intellectual scholars. An arts-based education contributes to increase in both academic skills and academic performance, while also providing alternative opportunities in developing the skills of students who learn differently. Dorothy Shepard was an individual who modeled this philosophy, believed that the arts were crucial in the success of all students. Ms. Shepard served the Kansas City Public Schools for many years as Associate Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction and Principal of Paseo Academy. Under Ms. Shepard's leadership, the arts flourished at Paseo Academy, thus establishing the arts philosophical foundation upon which Paseo thrives today and establishing the Dorothy Shepherd as the mother of the arts. Although Mrs. Shepherd died in 1999 of cancer, 
We keep Miss Shepherd's spirit alive and honor her legacy each year by awarding deserving artist scholars the Dorothy Shepherd Memorial Arts Scholarship. This distinguished honor is awarded each year to the artist scholar who demonstrates character, leadership, scholarship, talent, and service. This student also possesses a passion for learning through the arts, and each student is also required to write an essay articulating the importance of the arts in their life. This year, Paseo has two graduating seniors exemplifying the characteristics deserving of the Dorothy Shepherd Memorial Arts Scholarship. The first recipient of the 2014 Dorothy Shepherd Memorial Arts Scholarship wrote this in their essay. The arts have provided a way to make myself louder without making a figment of a sound. I think that without the arts, I still would be chasing an avoidable pipe dream, like becoming a glittery ninja or a cartoon character. The arts have refined me and shaped me into an actual deeply emotional and expressive human being. That shaping will always hang in my soul like a gold chain on a silver knob waiting to be turned. Paseo's first recipient will begin her post-secondary educational career by attending Donnelly College in Kansas City, Kansas, the 2014 $1,000 Dorothy Shepherd Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Tabitha Washington. <laughs> Tabitha, if you would stand at this time to be recognized. The second recipient of the Dorothy Shepherd Memorial Arts Scholarship wrote this in their essay. Once accepted into Paseo, I came to the conclusion that I had been misled. I was told that I was auditioning into a school. I soon realized that I had actually auditioned into a family of dancers, writers, actors, musicians, fashion designers, and some of the most techiest people you could ever meet. This place was like no other. With the skills I have learned at Paseo, I am able to approach people differently. I can now suggest to them that writing, dancing, acting, or music can be used to help them get what is inside of them out. Wherever there is a stage, I plan to be on it. The arts gave me the, an understanding of the world. Being a student at Paseo brought a new meaning of school, the true meaning of a family. Paseo's second recipient will be attending Pittsburgh State in the fall, majoring in psychology to start a career as a psychologist and therapist. The 2014 $500 award scholarship goes to Masha Rehman. <laughs> Masha Ray, would you stand? Hallmark Make Your Mark Scholarship in recognition of scholar, uh, scholastic and artistic achievement. The Hallmark Make Your Mark Scholarship is awarded this afternoon <clears throat> to a student whose hard work and unique vision show distinct promise for a future of meaningful artistic expression. This scholarship encourages its recipients to further their visual arts education earn a degree in the arts and strive to make a positive mark on the world with creativity and confidence. The recipient will be awarded a scholarship of $10,000 spread over the next four years of their higher education designed for achievement in earning a degree in the visual arts. This is the second year of this prestigious award and I am honored to announce that the hallmark $10,000 scholarship, Make Your Mark scholarship goes to Tony Lee. <laughs> Dr. Green, would you please approach the podium at this time? As principal of Paseo Academy of Fine and Performing Arts, 
I certify that these seniors have met all of the requirements set forth by the Kansas City Public School Board of Education and the State of Missouri. Dr. Green, would you please accept the sales graduating class of 2014? Thank you, Dr. Walker. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the Paseo Academy of Fine and Performing Arts, I seek the authority of the chairman of the board and, and the Kansas City Public School Board to confer upon each graduate here a high school degree with all rights, privileges, responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Members of the board, do you accept this class? As CEO and Superintendent of the Kansas City Public Schools, I certify that these seniors have met all of the requirements set forth by the Kansas City Public Schools and by the State of Missouri. And by the power invested in me, I hereby declare this class of 2014 to be graduates of the Paseo Academy Fine and Performing Arts. At this time, thank you, Dr. Green, and at this time, we will have the presentation of names by our counselors. Caitlin O'Reilly. Dominique Young. Destiny Washington. Ronnie Brown. Omar Green. Quentin Harris. Matthew Locklear. Jamila Drone. Cecily Williams. Kimberly Chexnader. Shakela Adams. Romello Akins. <laughs> Juwan Bennett. Lonnie Boston. Ashley Boyd. Jasmine Brewster. Joya Burris. Michaela Bynum. Hey, 
Eivor Cardenas. David Conway. Danielle Dalton. Tayana Davis Cannon. Sophie Dinas. Ezekiel Dillard. Zana Edmund. Jamika Foster. Orlando Gandara. Skyler Garcia. DeMarco Graves. Monica Holman. Kalia Hayes. Alton Heron. Diara Hawley. Javon Hughes. Unique Hewley. Jason Hunter. Takoya Johnson. Morgan Jones. Unique Kearney. Tony Lee. Moncherie Mack. Keelan Madge. Alana Mall. Treshawn Mall. Kahari McGarry. Jakevion McLeod McCullough. Stephanie Mexuero. Jessica Moreno. Chadira Okolo. Edgar Ortiz. Jalisa 
Otis. Ciancia Page. Michael Parks. Azriel Reed. Marika Reed. Brianna Roberts. Alex Robinson. Dominique Shears. Michael Shockley. Christian Simpson. Arion Sipes. Malik Smith. Joshelle Taylor. Dominique Thomas. Dion Thomas Scott. Tia Thomas. Shanikra Toombs. Jeremiah Washington. Tabitha Washington. DeMarco Williams. Marquan Williams. Alonzo Wright. At this time, at this time, and in the tradition of Paseo Academy, it's graduating class each year, I would like to say to the Paseo visual art majors, the world is a blank canvas, paint the picture of your life. To the Paseo vocal music majors, vocalize the melodies of your heart. To Paseo's instrumental majors, Compose and perform the tune you want the world to hear. To Paseo's theater majors, find your spotlight in the world, for you are truly a one-person show. To Paseo's technical theater majors, design your stage and surround yourself with the things that feature you at your best. 
to Paseo's creative writing majors. Write the script that features you as the protagonist. To Paseo's dance majors. In your dance of life, find peace and joy in each step along the way. To Paseo's TV production majors. Lights, camera, action. To Paseo's fashion and costume majors. Stroll the runway of life, and according to the words of Tim Gunn, make it work. To Paseo's senior class of 2014, remember the red carpet will always be rolled out, and the marquee will read, Welcome Home. Now at this time, Kim, let's turn our tassels. At this time, at this time, I say to you, congratulations and job well done. You may now turn your tassels to the left. <laughs> to the class of, to the class of 2014, we've now graduated. <laughs> 